I think ahead to my son leaving for college. It's going to be quite a few years from now. He's only five right now. <laughs> but as he leaves for college, I, his mother who gave birth to him, who wiped his little tears when Abigail broke his heart earlier this year, the same mom who crumbled inside when the kids down the street were mean to him, I have something to, important to say about the love of his life. <clears throat> you see, I know, I know, that someday he will bring home a person who means a lot to him. As we chat over like 3D holograph screen, I will listen as his college-aged nervous voice asks if he can bring her to Thanksgiving. I will be proud as I peer out from behind the living room curtains, spying, as the two of them pull up in a futuristic Knight Rider-like car from 2025, and he walks around and like lifts the door for her. He will walk this new beauty into my house and announce in his posture, with his eyes and through his strong voice, that this is someone who matters. I will look at the two of them standing there in my foyer, and I will hate her. <laughs> oh yes, I know that as his mom, I should be saying that anyone who makes my son happy makes me happy too, and blah, blah, blah. But <clears throat> I want to be honest. I will hate this person who will enter my son's life, ready to take him even further from my nest. I know that I spent the first 18 years of my son's life trying to prepare him and force him out of my nest as soon as possible. I know I sat there with my plastic goblet of wine on Saturday nights watching HGTV and travel channel reruns, bemoaning how many adventurous things I would do and how beautiful my house would look if I didn't have kids. I read all kinds of books about how to raise independent, articulate, smart kids, and I applied them. I wanted my son to be able to exist without me for his success. Someday he will walk out of my house for good. When that happens, I want him to search carefully for the partner he decides will be his everything. This partner needs to be strong, confident, and stand with her shoulders straight. Her flight or fight reflexes must be tested, and her fight must win. <laughs> because this person must be able to fight for my son and endure my wrath. So we're all clear. <clears throat> it will be a silent, subtle, passive-aggressive kind of wrath, right? <laughs> it will be a real housewives kind of wrath. Like them, I will make mean, snide, veiled comments about wardrobe decisions. Like uh, when I say to my son's girlfriend, wow, I didn't know they made skirts that length anymore. I thought the respectable women had phased out short skirts like so behind the times. And then as I watch her say yes to the second glass of wine that I offered, I will say something like, wow, college obviously teaches girls to hold their liquor these days, doesn't it? Isn't that something? Bless your heart. <laughs> oh, I do mean those just the way that they sound. After all, I can't have my perfect son trouncing around with some sort of futuristic floozy. I know that the money-grumming, manipulative, I mean, <clears throat> the space-aged beauty that my precious son spends his life with will be wonderful because I trust his judgment. I raised him to have a solid bar to weigh people's characters even when he is at the actual bar. <laughs> I trust my son. Who I don't trust is her. I don't trust this woman who will replace me. I don't trust this woman who will become the most important person in his life. Why? <laughs> well, I was my son's first love. The other night, with his hot, snaggletooth, five-year-old breath, he told me he loved me so much, he wanted to live with me forever. <laughs> he brought me handmade macaroni necklaces, and I promise, <laughs> they mean more than any diamond ring could ever mean. In my son's life, this new love will replace his first love, me. 
I may host a fantastic bridal shower for his bride-to-be, wear an appropriately dowdy mother-of-the-groom dress or pantsuit at the wedding, but inside my heart will be breaking a little bit. When he goes off to college, I want my son to understand that this new person, the one that will be his partner for life, must be absolutely and undeniably worth it if I am to let go. And I promise, at some point in the future, it might not be till 2030, but I will be able to let go.